more eggs. I got more eggs. Don't worry. I got more fresh white eggs. Large. One dozen with a little chicken on it. Obviously, because these are chicken eggs. I am not using any other kind of eggs today, such as llama, uh, ostrich, dodo, or turtle. Today we're using regular fresh chicken eggs. White chicken eggs. Not that there's any difference between the white eggs and the brown eggs. No difference. At least one I don't know of, except the color. Although these are actually white, and those are actually brown. Yeah. Alright. For my eggs, I usually like to have more than two. I like to have more than two eggs, and less than four. So because of that, I have three. Three. One. I'll do, I'll do it one-handed. That yolk broke. That's okay. We're scrambling these eggs, by the way. So a broken yolk doesn't mean, isn't going to worry me. One-handed. Boom! Goes the dynamite. That's, 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 the problem. that's the part I haven't figured out yet. Get hit without... There, there we go. Oh, that one was... Uh, Always good to wash your hands. And we're washing, and we're washing, and we're washing, and we're wiping, and we're wiping, and we're, wiping's an important part. After you wash your hands, you know, you don't want to be, you want to have an implement to wipe your hands with after you wet them, other than doing this. By the way, the Red Sox. Woo! Guess where I'm from? <sighs> Madagascar. Alright, so we got our bacon, and usually when I do bacon, I go with the Oscar Mayer brand, and with um, this particular brand, I like the thick cut, the thick cut, because I like my meat thick, especially when it comes to bacon, <laughs> uh, and Oscar Mayer does that be great, so that's cooking, we're going to get out our pan for our scrambled eggs, uh, this is a, um, circular pan and we're going to put it thusly on the up start and we're using a gas oven uh, growing up in my childhood we, I always had an electric oven um, but now I have a gas oven and um, that's it uh, <laughs> speaking of my childhood usually in when my childhood when I wanted a snack and I couldn't decide between two things I would have both uh, so in this particular time, we were having white bread, and we are having English muffins. English muffins, when I was a kid, these weren't English muffins. They were magic muffins. Don't ask. I'll also tell you that milk was also Mika. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to thusly open up our English muffins. Um, and uh, side fact, I'm actually half English, <laughs> although from a long time ago, because I can I'm into family history stuff, and uh, I, I can go really far back. Uh, one side can go probably far back to the 1600s, and one other can go back to the mid 1800s. Uh, that's my mother's side. Uh, on my father's side, uh, Italian and Polish. Uh, great, my great grandparents from each side both came over to this country. And the great thing about that is that when they came over here, they already had a job lined up. So, and a place to stay, which is what one company was doing. It was called the Draper Corporation in, in uh, Hopedale, Massachusetts, which where, where I'm from. And now, uh, years later, that one factory has been, there's nothing going on there. At least that I know. So it's just a big factory with nobody working there. Uh, so we got our eggs, three eggs, and we salt. Not too much salt. I can sometimes have a problem with that. And then, we get our, the only whisk I have, which connects to a, you know, power thing, and a whisk. A whisk, 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 and I don't know why I'm doing this, because I've never done that before. 
and our pan is heating up, we're going to get some butter. And um, I'm going to go over here right now because there is an important part of this breakfast meal that we have, and that is coffee. And I'm going to go start my curry machine. So if you excuse me, um, you probably see a song while I'm off camera. Why? Because, I don't know. Curry, oh curry, I love you. Curry, okay, that was really... Oh, Kurig! 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 <laughs> and back to what I was doing over here. So, we got eggs scrambled over here, ready to go in. We got our bacon. Actually cooking really well, because <laughs> it's a really fine piece of meat. Uh, we put our toast down with our English muffin, or magic muffin, and we can get our eggs ready. Now the key to a good thing about eggs is you want to have the pan really hot, and you don't really want to cook them that long on the pan. When I was a kid, come back to when I was a kid, because I like to cook when I was a kid. I, I think I remember keeping them in there for a long time, making sure they really cut. No. And I also remember when I was a kid, I used to put maybe milk in them or water. I didn't know you had to do that. What you want to do is you just want the essence, the essence of the egg. And that's what we're going to do here. So what we're going to do now is we've got the pan up to five, and it's going to be, we're going to put some butter in it. And it's going to be really great, because butter is great. Actually, this is margarine. And we tend to go margarine in our house. Because obviously we like it better than the butter and the sticks. So that's going to steam up really nice. Get a nice pat of butter in there. Woo! Look at that baby go! Alright, now we drop the eggs in. And what we're going to do is when we drop the eggs in, we're going to use our whisk implement to stir it around in there. It might scratch your pan, but it can really do a good job scrambling. So here we go. Really hot. And it's going bubbling there. And uh, woo, woo, oh. <laughs> And you want to stir from the outside in. Outside in, make sure I need. Uh, there we go. There we go. Look at those scrambling. Look at the levels. Look at the little hills and meadows. And I don't know what I'm describing here, but these are just eggs. And you want to move it around, scramble. Look at that. Look at, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me just want to push it around. Push it around. Shake it a little. A little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Shake. Don't do that. Okay. I won't do that. All right. And then you can just shut it off and just let it. Because we don't want to burn these eggs. You want to just a little, little wet, but not too dry. You know, you got to have a little bit little. Nice. So we get that. That is nice. That is a good, that is some good eggs. That's some good eggs right there. That is some good eggs. All right. And we plate it. Yeah. And we... Our bacon over here is cooking really nicely. Uh, I think that piece is done. I think these other two pieces don't need to cook some more, so I'll move that to the end over there. And... That was absolutely nothing. Oh, my, my magic muffins and my toast have popped up. But I like to put them down just one more time. Not one full time, because if I go too full of a second time, it might burn. Don't want that. Uh, some people actually like to burn their stuff and eat it, but you know, I guess that's it's, you know, whatever taste you like. Curry machine. For my curry machine, I use a figment coffee cup, which I got on my honeymoon back about three years ago with my wife, Amy. If you've ever been to Epcot Center down in Florida, you know who this is. This is an internal character that's never gotten like a cartoon on television or a movie, but I like him because he's funny. And cool. And he's like a little dragon with wings and he sings. It's about imagination. Imagination. A dream can be so real too. No. One little spark from me too.
to you. Okay. All right. So bacon's looking good. Toast is doing its little halvesy thing. Uh, got that. Bacon. Bacon. Toast. Bailey. Bacon, toast, and Bailey. Come here. Come here. Special guest. Special guest. Oh, I think it's burning. Oh, okay. 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 We're good. Oh, okay. Oh, where? Hot! Ha! That's so good. Okay. Special guest. Say hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. That's taste. Alright. I will be right back. Alright. There we go. We finished it. Um, kind of burnt the toast. Could have been more, you know, huh? <laughs> uh, and we have our bacon here, which we move to our plate. A little, little action there. A little move to the plate. And we put on a little sheet, because, you know, there's a lot of grease. We want some grease, but we don't want all the grease. Well, sometimes all the grease tastes really good. <laughs> all right, and we have our coffee ready. And what we like to uh, do is a, uh, we like to flavor it with some creamer. And my creamer of choice is Bailey's coffee creamer. It's my best. This is great. This is the best thing for our coffee to have uh, any for any breakfast or, or, or party event. You know, when you have like a, a coffee with a dessert or something. So this is really good. So I'll put a little, um, a little last shake first. And one, two, three. <laughs> ah, a tablespoon. Yeah, that will work for me. First cups of coffee, I used to always have a... Uh, no, yeah, no, first years when I had cups of coffee, I always like to have a uh, coffee with my sugar, so I'm uh, a uh, sweet tooth. So there you have it. Eggs, toast, English muffins, and bacon. And coffee in my figment cup. We hope you enjoyed watching Cooking with Joel. I like to entertain myself with food. There, instead of cooking with Joel, entertaining myself, no, cooking with Joel, and the subtitle, entertaining myself with food. Bon appétit. I'm not French, I don't need to say bon appétit. Eat good food.